Hello everyone, I am Rosanne Monsalis together with Jude Michael Tevez. We are going to discuss the elliptic geometry. At the end of the lesson, the students are expected to define the elliptic geometry, differentiate elliptic geometry to Euclidean geometry, explain the postulates of elliptic geometry and apply the concepts of elliptic geometry to real life situations. Elliptic geometry studies the, the geometry of ellip elliptic objects. It is also called Riemannian geometry. It is named after German mathematician Bernard Riemann. A sphere is a special case of an ellipse. Therefore, elliptic geometry is used when studying the geometry of spherical surfaces. Elliptic geometry it is a non-Euclidean geometry. It has a positive curvature. The parallel postulate is not valid. There are no lines parallel to a given line through any point in the plane. Positive curvature, this is what positive curvature means. If you have a triangle and a positive curvature, the sum of the angles of a triangle is bigger than 180 degrees. You see in the first box, we have a positive there, and second is negative, third is zero. So how does elliptic geometry differ from Euclidean geometry? Elliptic geometry is used to study the geometry of elliptic objects and spherical surfaces. Euclidean geometry is used to study the geometry of flat objects. So you see in the first um, picture or image, it's, it is a flat. That's why it is considered in Euclidean. So this, and the second and third, which is the sp spherical and hyperbolic, are considered in non-Euclidean. So that would be all in my part, and John Michael Tavis will be the one to continue our report. Thank you. I am John Michael J. Tavis, and I am going to continue the report of Rosanna Monsanis. Elliptic geometry postulates. First postulate is there are no straight lines. Any lines that is drawn on a curved surface will always be curved because the the surface itself is curved. Since ellipse is, a fl is more like a flattened circle, and we all know and it is obvious that a circle is composed of curved lines, therefore the ellipse is also composed of curved lines, and there are no straight lines we can see in an ellipse. There are no parallel lines as well. If we are going to look closely here in the figure at the right, we can see that all the lines always intersect from each other. We cannot see a line that is parallel to each other since all lines always cross from each other at some point. The sum of the interior angles of a triangle is greater than 180 degrees. Since the, li since the ellipse is composed of curved lines, Therefore, the, the side of the triangle in an, in an ellipse is, is slightly curved. Since it is slightly curved, it will affect the, the measurement of, of the triangle. And if we are going to look closely here in the figure, there are already two right angles. So therefore, if we are going to add that, it will already result to 180 degrees plus the top angle. So therefore, it is always greater than 180 degrees assumingly that the top angle is even 101 degrees so therefore the angles of this shaded region is 180 deg 181 degrees so which is which is still greater than 180 degrees even 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 in in, in any location you are going to draw your triangle, it will always be greater than 180 degrees. What is the use of elliptic geometry? As the Earth is not flat, the shortest distance between two places is usually not a straight line that is drawn on a flat map. Elliptic geometry can be used to calculate the shortest distance between places that are far away from each other. Airlines and pilots can use it to calculate the best route between two cities, and ship captains can use it to calculate the best route between two harbors. Based from the figure here below, 
there are two roots the red root which is the straight line and the green root which is the green line if assumingly that you are from New York going to Macau and travels a straight line it will take you 8,110 8, kilometer. However, if you are going to take the curved line, it will only take you 7,500 kilometer. So therefore, the shortest distance between two places on Earth is not a straight line but on a curved line. Elliptic geometry is not only used to calculate the distance between two cities, but it is also used in space exploration and cosmology. If during our elementary days, we were already taught about the solar system. If we can still remember, and if we are going to look closely, the orbit of every planet is, 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 an, is in an ellipse. So therefore, the planet must move around from the sun in an elliptical way. So that ends our report. Thank you for listening.